Hi everyone, this is Keval from Drone Aviation. This is the 8th video of the series Drone Programming Using Pluto Blocks. In this video, we are going to take off the drone by simply tossing it up in the air. Let's go. The project that we are making today is called Chuck to Arm. This is a very simple project, easy to make and a very interesting one. In this project, the uh, problem statement is that as soon as you uh, toss the drone in the air, it should arm, right? So the logic becomes really easy. The drone should know that uh, it has tossed and then it will arm. But the problem comes, how will the drone know that we have tossed it up in the air? This is also very easy. This is done by using the accelerometer sensor on the drone. Now, when a drone is tossed in the air, the accelerometer sensor should read zero value. So all we have to do is we have to compare the accelerometer data and as soon as it reaches zero, we can ask the drone to arm itself. Let us see how to do this by starting a new project. I will name it as Chuck to arm. Done. Now in Pluto loop what I will do is first I will use the logic and paste if do. Again from logic I will take uh, okay not from yes this. Now what I am going to do is I will go in the sensor block and I will take accelerometer acceleration. We don't want the x we want the strength that is which is the rms value from math i will take a number so what i'm going to do is i will take it as less than and set the numbers to two now uh, i know i said that it should reach zero but uh, in order to uh, eliminate a small small errors and or such stuff i'm going to keep it as less than two which is more or less equal to zero if you see the range so uh, this is the main program and then i will command the drone to arm itself to know uh, to uh, for the uh, debugging purposes i will use a red led and maybe another green led and i'm going to keep both of them on so i'll get a mix of these colors so this becomes my project but there is a very small problem with this see the, uh, this this program that we have done uh, this is asking the drone to take off whenever the accelerometer data is less than 2 right now this obviously covers our portion of tossing the drone in the air but it also covers another thing which i we don't another situation which we don't want suppose if you are already flying the drone and you crash on a wall and the drone crashes and falls down even at that time it is going to fall downwards just like when we are tossing it up in the air so the accelerometer data is going to read zero even in crashed state. So when the drone crashes and is falling down, accelerometer data will read zero. And if this program is working at that time, the drone will again arm itself and we don't want that to happen, right? When it is crashing. There is a reason that the drone turns itself off, off when the drone crashes. So in order to avoid that, what we are going to do is we will take from logic, we will take a and block okay so for a moment i'll remove this and put and block over here and this will be just one of the conditions second conditions second condition is from flight status which is is crashed so what this means is if the accelerometer data is less than two and if the drone is crashed then this program will uh, be executed but we don't want the program to be executed when it is crashed. We want it to be executed when it is not crashed. So what I'm going to do is again uh, from logic I will use not and I will keep it over here. So this will now check for the accelerometer data if it is less than 2 and the drone is not crashed. So it is in a flying state. It is in a safe mode. So this project is uh, done over here. Now quickly uh, let us build it and flash it on the drone and then we can quickly execute and see how it works. Now 
Now that the firmware is flashed, let us execute the project. So what I'll do is I'll connect the app with the drone and I'll keep the drone in my hand since I want to toss the drone. Let us click on the developer mode on and let us toss the drone in the air and it falls down. It, the project did not execute like as we wanted. Why? This is because we did not arm the drone from the app. Now what is this? There is a difference between arming the drone on the program that we did and the arm switch that we see on the app. The, on the app, the arm switch is more of a fail safe. Uh, it is like a safety switch. So when you arm the drone from the app, only then can a drone take off or arm itself. So now let us arm the drone from the app as well. Let us turn on the developer mode. And now let us toss the drone in the air. And the drone arms itself properly. So this is a really interesting way to take off as compared to the traditional way of keeping the drone on the ground and then taking off. So I hope uh, you learned something from this video. Uh, please do try out this project and let us know if you have any doubts. You can let us know in the comment section or uh, on our website uh, on the forum. Uh, we will provide the link in the description. And in the next video what we are going to do is we will be taking off our drone by simply blowing air over the drone. Let us see how that works in the next video. Till then, please like, share and subscribe to our videos so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. Do check out our other content as well. Thank you.